Bonjour! Ah, oh, bonjour, your table awaits. Oh, hi. I've got something for you. A rose. Uh, you, oh, thank you. Bonjour. Bonsoir. You look so familiar. Have we met? Must be destiny. Oh, oh, good year. We can't wait to get to know you. But it feels like I might have opened you. <laughs> feels like I might have known you for a long time. But either, oh, my, okay. Either way, I can't wait to see what this date has in store. So who's gonna pay for this? Oh, I can take care of this. Okay. All right. Well, I must have lost it. Okay. Maybe you could pay, please, just once. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right then. Great. I appreciate that. Hi. Okay. I've got more of this date to show you. We've got this awesome play to see. It's going to be incredible. Come with me. Hey, come on. We're going to be late for the play. Hop on in. I'll take you there. Oh man, I've heard such great things about this play. I cannot wait. You're going to love it. It's absolutely, oh! Bonjour! Bonjour. Uh, welcome to the theater! Oh, it is so unbelievably good. I cannot wait for this. And I just wanted to say, thanks so much for coming out with me. I mean, you're beautiful, you're handsome. Ah, uh, bonjour! 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 bonjour. bonjour. Oh, ah, snacks! I know we just ate, but I mean, if you wanted a snack for the play. <coughs> anyway, ooh, popcorn! Oh, bonjour! Bonjour! Hey, you want some popcorn? Here you go. How about some for me? <laughs> okay. Bonjour! Bonjour! Oh, this is perfect. We've got two plays to choose from. Do we see the romance, love too soon? Oh, the horror, the dark mark. The romance, or the horror. The romance, or the horror. The romance, or the horror. Good idea, you know. I always thought you to be a patron of the arts like myself, and I always respected that about you. I'm so glad you asked me out on this date. Or was it me that asked you? I never know, but this play is astonishing. It is undeniably the greatest play that has ever existed in the history of theater. And you're gonna love it. Oh, take your seat, take your seat. You want some popcorn? Oh, it's starting. Thanks for taking me to this park, babe. Thanks for paying for dinner. Oh, no problem. You are welcome. Will you marry me? Oh, of course. Who wouldn't want to get married on the first date? Good thing I'm ordained. Me too. I now pronounce us man and wife. Ba da da da. Ba da da. Ba da da. Oh my god, it's so unique. Every time you watch it, it's something different. It's something new, magical, unexplainably good. And I just, I just need a minute because I just become over, so overcome with the core message of it, the, the beauty of the love between two dissonant souls and just expressing themselves in, in dance and, and love. Oh man, I just need a minute. Oh. The other play, do you, do you want to see it? It plays right after this one. I mean, there's still time. Or, or we could keep moving on in the date. It, it's, it's really whatever you want. What do you think? <laughs> Choice is yours. You know what? You're right. We got a big day ahead of us. A lot to do. Lot bonjour. To... Oh, bonjour. Au revoir. Bonjour. Oh, okay. All right.
where I've been. We got a lot planned. I've been literally going all out on this one. I have not spared a single- Adios! Guten Tag. I have not spared a single expense on this. You will be amazed and surprised at you. Oh, guess who? No, oh, it's just me. Oh, thank you. Saw, dude. Plans. Oh, Plans. hey. I will take one for my lovely date here. Oh, that'll be one dollar, please. I, I, I don't have, it's love. Okay, anyway, this date has been great. The dinner went perfectly. The play was delightful. And I've been getting to know you so well, and I can't help but feel that maybe this is the right time. Just, will you marry me? You're stunned, I know. It's a big question. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> he usually gets an answer after the question. <gasps> I honestly didn't think you'd say yes. That's amazing, thank you. You're gonna make me so happy. Give me a kiss. Why are your eyes open? Close your eyes. Cut! Oh, finally, makeup! Makeup! Oh, fine, get up, excuse me, excuse me. Move out of the way! This town used to be great. Filled with talented people. Ah, yeah! Great job, great job, you guys. But next time, next time, more emotion. More emotion. Yeah, whatever, I'll give you emotion, you sack of talentless. I used to be somebody. Maybe not something good, but I was somebody who worked on great projects. Now I'm working on this bullshit. What have we got here? Hello, hi, where have hi. you been? Hi. Any calls? Your kids called. I don't care. Tell me when my agent calls me. Hi, makeup. Where have you been my whole life? What, you, what is it that you need? I need makeup. Oh, I'm very ugly. Oh, yeah. Let me make it pretty. There you go. <sighs> I used to be somebody. I used to be a star. And can you imagine this script? This bullshit script? What kind of plot hole filled, cliche ridden script is this? Who would get engaged on the first date? Who would say yes to that maniac? You, that's who. God, I couldn't tell if you were a good actor or just way too eager. Back on set! <sighs> I could do this. Five more years of parole. You ready to go again? <laughs> no, no, oh, okay, all right. Um, I, uh, I kind of planned for a yes. I, uh, I already hired an ordained mar thank you, mar thank you very much. Mar marriagerizer, no? Okay, all right, this might be bad, but I feel like I'm owed something. I already asked your mom and dad, and they said yes. Uh, they were very eager, actually, to have a son. Okay, no, all right, um, you might have to, because I already changed your last name. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, Ben. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Sorry, I can't call you that. I want to. You know how I don't, uh, I, I, you know how I couldn't afford the... <clears throat> Ow, okay, it's fine. It's okay, I can take it in stride. It's all right. It's a hug for friends being
Good idea. I've actually never seen this play before. I don't even know who made it, so it could be a fun adventure. Let's give it a try. Huh? Good luck. Oh, okay. All right. Bonjour. Anyway, I uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm a patron of the arts, and uh, I certainly love new theaters, new plays, new artists. You know, it all just stokes the embers in my soul. <laughs> anyway. I hope this is a good one, and any chance to spend more time with you is good in my book. Take your seat. You want some popcorn? Oh, it's starting! Shoot him now. He's dark. I'm him right now. He's dark. He's a bad man. He's got bad eyes and all that bad things to trust him at all. You have to trust him now. You made the right call. Come here. Oh, man, I'm so sorry about that. You literally had to kill somebody. But I'm glad you're taking it in stride. So let's get back to the date, relax with some nice ice cream. Oh, bonjour. Bonjour, too, please. Thank you, I have nothing. <laughs> there you are. Oh, sit, sit. Let's just relax and enjoy our ice cream together and get to know each other again as man and you. Go ahead. Go on. <laughs> Hello, ice cream. My name is Mark Blair and welcome to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been a bit of a crazy date, I know, but I still want to get to know you, so 
Maybe we could go out again sometime? You never know what kind of trouble we'll get into next time. I mean, if you had to kill somebody this time, who knows what you're gonna do next time. So, let's give it a try, huh? Maybe. I'm worth it. Man, I am so sorry. Are you okay? You had to kill somebody. I feel so bad. But hey, it's okay. We're here now. We can continue the date with some ice cream. Bonjour. 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 Two, please. It's going to be all right. Just relax. We'll enjoy some nice dairy-based treats and uh, get to know each other, really, personally. Oh, go ahead. Looks like you made the wrong choice. But now we're going to be together forever. Misunderstanding. Help, please, a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you want to join your boyfriend, do you? Well, come on. Now, I'm going to show you what I do to deadbeats. <laughs> I did not expect this to happen. I had a very nice date planned with a lot of cliches and some feel-good stories to it, but I did not expect this. It's not my fault. Hey, you don't like paying your bills, do you? <laughs> I want to reiterate, I do like paying my bills. I have a very high credit score with a lot of good remarks. Well, I'm going to show you what we do to people that don't pay their bills. You know what happened to the last guy that didn't pay his bill? No. <laughs> Neither did he. Quite understand that one, but I just want to say, hey, if you can just let me go to my home, I will get my wallet. Shut and the I, fuck up! I will pay my bill gladly. <gasps> Bumpy ass. Didn't you? Didn't you? Good idea. Here goes nothing. Oh, what are you oh, 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 oh wait, give I me did, that! I didn't eat me! Oh. Ah. You alright? You okay? Man, that was nuts. That guy was out of his mind. You wanted to kidnap us and maybe kill us just because I forgot my wallet? I mean, you could have paid, but I'll forgive you for that one. At least we can continue this date and get to know each other. I don't know where we are, but we might as well keep walking. Try to find somebody that can help us. It could be days or weeks or months. Whoa, hey, look, hey, whoa, a road. Okay, we can follow this and we can try to find someone. I think I see a building at the end there. With that? Well, I get. I guess it's pretty shiny. It's kind of cool. You want to find out what that is? I mean, there's no guarantee that those people aren't going to kidnap and murder us either. But I don't know. Maybe it's worth a shot. Yeah, it is shiny. It's really shiny, glowing weirdly, almost ominously. Up to you. Good idea. You know, I always trust your judgment. You seem to make the best choices here. So I'll give you another one. Should we go north or should we go south? It's okay. 
any date can be salvaged so long as you have love and sandwiches. So come on, let's go. All right, it's okay. Just sit down, relax. We'll just pop a squat here and maybe get to know each other. Because I feel like you just have me. That could be anybody's mom. It doesn't mean it's your mom. <clears throat> anyway, I've got sandwiches here for us to enjoy together and finally just relax and get to know each other. I've got peanut butter and jelly, and I've got tuna fish sandwich. Which would you like? Infinite possibilities. <laughs> Not really. Everyone's kind of dead, so what, what could happen after this? Love, that could happen. <laughs> Just which sandwich do you want? Come on. I'm barely hanging on by a thread here. Everyone I know is dead. Cool. PB and J. Little did you know that fateful sandwich would change the course of your life forever. The radiation blast from the nuclear bomb triggered a latent mutation in Mark's genes that made him like super allergic to peanut butter. He died before the sandwich left his bowels. And then the sandwich left his bowels. But your new life was just beginning. You found yourself a member of the fledgling resistance that rose up to unify the wandering bands of the wastes. But your laden grief over the death of the handsome and all-around not-cheap-date Markiplier gnawed at the edges of your mind. Madness consumed your ever-growing lust for power. Nothing and no one and nowhere and no how could stand in your way. So upon your throne of bones you sat, ever yearning for the lost love of that sweet, sexy little boy. The man, the myth, the legend, Markiplier. Tuna was my favorite. Ah, tuna fish, the chicken of the sea. A wise choice for wise people in unwise times. Much like this sandwich, your relationship became forged in the fires of war. Together, you fought off every bandit raid, every mutant attack, every post-apocalyptic door-to-door -door salesman. Your love conquered all. You finally made your way through the violence of your time to settle down on a homely tuna farm and live out the rest of your lives peacefully, hardly ever thinking about the crazy backwards way of 2017. No more memes, no more dabbing, no more gifts, just peace. Good idea. Or maybe not. I, I don't know. Let's find out what this is. What the heck? It's like some kind of artifact. Put this on. You're right. Bad idea. Okay, all right then. 
we're here. Where is here? Why is here? I don't... Look, this is all just a misunderstanding. I'm Jimma, sure that I can... You're the main ingredient. What does that even mean? I mean, what am I, what am I supposed to... Oh, no, come on. Get over here. Oh, ridiculous. There's plenty of room for two in the pot. <laughs> Stay there. You're on tomorrow's menu. <laughs> All right, we gotta get out of here. We gotta find something that can help us escape. Let me see what's in your pants. Ow, okay. All right then, fine. It's in my pants. Oh. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Found my wallet. <laughs> right, anyway, there's gotta be something here that we can use to escape. Oh, I can take this paper. Thank you very much. This rose, you're so sweet. Okay. And this rock! Okay, so if we take this with the handcuffs that I was put in, if we mix them all together, we just need some sort of adhesive. <gasps> I got it! Yes! Ah, there's no service! All right, we gotta find a way to get out of here. He's gonna come back and he's probably gonna kill and eat us. So, this concrete doesn't seem too thick. We could probably try to dig our way out of here. Or, I could try to pick that lock. I'm not sure which one would be faster. I was a championship digger in my school. I won state, but I've never tried to pick a lock before. I don't know. This could be risky either way. I don't think we got a lot of time. You gotta decide. Come on. What are we gonna do? Which we just got to choose. Good idea. I was hoping you'd say this. I was actually a championship digger in my high school. So, this shouldn't take me a long time, but uh, let's just get started.
Good idea. We got a whole date in store for us. Oh, freedom! Let me see what's in your pants. Ow, okay. All right then, fine. What's in my pants? Oh. <laughs> oh. When you know it, found my wallet. All right, anyway, there's gotta be something here that we can use to escape. Ooh, I can take this paper. Thank you very much. This rose, you're so sweet. Okay. And this rock! Okay, so if we take this with the handcuffs that I was put in, if we mix them all together, we just need some sort of adhesive. <gasps> I got it! Yes! Ah, there's no service! All right, we gotta find a way to get out of here. He's gonna come back and he's probably gonna kill and eat us. So, this concrete doesn't seem too thick. We could probably try to dig our way out of here. Or, I could try to pick that lock. I'm not sure which one would be faster. I was a championship digger in my school. I won state, but I've never tried to pick a lock before. I don't know, this could be risky either way. I don't think we got a lot of time. You gotta decide. Come on, what are we gonna do? Which we just gotta choose. Good idea, but I've never picked a lock before. I don't even have a lock pick. Wait, maybe if I if I use this, I might be able to get through there, but I've never done this before. Got it! Okay, follow me very quietly. Wait! Alright, come on, follow me and stay low and be quiet. We have no idea where he is. Hang on, let me put on my sneak and shoes. That's better. Get low. Real low. Come on. I don't like the sound of that door. I think we should split up. No, not break up. No, no way. This date is going wonderfully. I think maybe if we split up, we'll cover more ground. What do you think? You could go that way, I'll go this way. We'll find an exit, tell each other maybe. Good idea. You go that way, I'll go this way. We'll meet back up later. Cool. Whatever you say, you first. <laughs> Surprise! Looks like the rat got out of the cage. I told you I'd fix you, deadbeat. <laughs> you idiot, just press X. God. Well, anyway, come on. I think we can get out of here now and maybe even continue the date. Hey, if we have time, maybe we can even see the play. Yeah, I had a great day in store until I unfortunately uh, misplaced my wallet, but maybe there's a way out of here. Oh, hey, wait. There's an exit. We can go. Come on. What are you waiting for? Come on. There's an exit right here. We can go. We can continue the date. We can see what else there is. I, I don't get it. There's an exit right here. We can go at any moment. What are you waiting for? Okay. I, I don't get it, but go ahead. I'll follow you. I'd follow you anywhere. Welcome to my humble abode. I don't have you scheduled for an interview just yet. 
I don't even know why you're here. But then again, do you? In all your time going through this game, have you even stopped to ponder the possibility that you are not what you think you are? I know, I know, my words mystify, but uh, maybe you should find out for yourself. I can't answer for you, but I can put you in the situation where you might discover the truth. Good luck!